You're watching Global National. The new president had a clear message today that it is America first now. What does that mean for Canada and the rest of the world? Well, you can bet our government is wondering. Eric Sorensen was the first journalist to interview Canada's foreign affairs minister today after the inauguration in Washington. Eric, what does she make of Trump's message? Well, Donna, Christia Freeland said that uh, uh, Donald Trump is someone that you have to listen to. He is the president of the United States. And she said this will be a challenging time for Canada. Listen to Trump. And you have to wonder, is he talking about Canada when he suggests other countries are taking advantage of the U.S.? Freeland was ready with a response. For many decades, we've enriched foreign industry at the expense of American industry. Has any country been more enriched uh, by the United States than Canada? I might ask, has any country enriched the United States more than Canada has done? It's really a mutually beneficial, balanced relationship, and, I'm, and it's a relationship that has endured many changes of government on both sides of the border. I'm confident it's going to proceed. Christia Freeland is the new Foreign Affairs Minister. She knows Washington. She will add U.S. trade to her portfolio. She will be busy, and she will have her work cut out for her. Donna? She sure will. Thanks, Eric. And we look forward to a little more from you later in the broadcast. Protectionist talk from our biggest trading partner is making many Canadians nervous. So does threatening to rip up the North American Free Trade Agreement. Our Vashi Capellos is looking at what President Trump's shakeup of trade could do to our economy. Dennis Green has worked at the same company for 30 years. There have been ups and downs, but nothing like this. I've never seen anything like that. He's talking about Donald Trump's threat to smack a border tax on foreign products coming into the U.S. We must protect our borders from the ravages of other countries. Green's company makes wire for car parts. Nearly all of it is sent south of the border. A tariff would cripple business. Over the last year, we've hired over uh, uh, close to 100 people, and it'd be a shame to see all that just uh, go away. They aren't alone. 87% of everything Canada exports goes to the U.S. And Trump isn't just threatening a border tax. He also plans to renegotiate the 22-year-old North American Free Trade Act. At best, it'll be neutral. At worst, this could be a disaster. Trump's NAFTA target is what's called country of origin rules. Customs officials use them to determine if a product qualifies for duty-free trade under NAFTA. If Trump changes the rules, it will mean more tariffs on Canadian products going south. 87% of your exports going to one market is risky. It's like investing in one stock and hoping you're going have, to have a good retirement. Not everyone is as worried. But the majority of the parts that go into Canadian built cars come from the United States. So messing with the relationship that we have will cause him more problems than it's worth. Still, there's no doubt manufacturing is poised to be hit hardest should Trump's rhetoric become real. The softwood lumber industry is also on edge. Agriculture, too. Think of all the beef, pork, and grain Canada exports. And Trump is in favor of building Keystone XL, but he also wants to pump up U.S. production, which could mean importing less oil from us. Have you calculated how much a tariff on Canadian goods could cost the economy? I would not be able to tell you that because I was in Davos this week. Canadian trade officials have met with their counterparts. They won't speculate on possible retaliation. The name of their game is to keep touting one message. What we have to remind ourselves is, and again, I'm coming back to the fact that our two economies are dependent on each other. Hoping the message gets through. Vashi Capello's Global News, Ottawa.